The state of Ohio and Ohio State's Fisher College of Business launched a pilot program to help young entrepreneurs accelerate their ideas into a successful startup company. Teams in the 10X program will soon present their plans to hundreds of investors in hopes of attracting more funding. Now, one of those teams is Flare Code. Flare Code stands for Flexible Light Augmented Reality Everywhere. Nicholas Salante and Ian Bowsman Henderson are magazine journalism majors at Ohio University in Southeast Ohio. They have an idea that could transform the print industry and beyond. Ian and I were kind of inspired by the December 2009 issue of Esquire magazine. We thought the best thing that they came out with was it was a, it was a magazine review where it had a code and you just scanned it, no bullshit, played a track from that album while you listen to the album review. That was awesome. So we were like, how can we do stuff like that and make it, make, basically make a platform where anyone can do that. There are templates for making websites, and that's huge. And now there are templates for bringing websites to mobile, and that's huge. But now what the web is really about is this community function, and we're a template for building a community. Flare Code helps the community connect the offline and online worlds through QR codes. Scan a code with a mobile device and you'll quickly access digital content like social media feeds, photos, videos, and more. It's like humanizing the internet, you know, by and really making the internet more tangible. The technology and the innovation that they represent uh, is potentially world changing. Some analysts have predicted that the, you know, offline to online and online to offline space, that O2O space is a trillion dollar opportunity coming in the future. But first, the Flare Code team must come up with a successful business plan. That's why they applied to the 10X Accelerator program. 10X has been really helpful in just getting us in front of people. I think that's been the biggest thing. They've done a lot of, we've got a lot of insight from people that have been in it before. But the coolest thing is just being in front of people that have actually done it before. One of the things I've been advising them on is really taking a step back and rather than looking at it from a technology perspective. We definitely have always learned from our mistakes because there's nothing to do except keep moving forward. Flair Code is already working with its first clients, a partnership between an Athens television station and OU student newspaper. There's going to be a code on the front page of the post that you can scan. And not only will you be getting all the news content from WUB, as it happens, whenever they put it up on the internet, you're going to get it right on the paper, but you're going to get breaking news that comes out after the paper, through Twitter, through blogs, all that opinion article. And if you want to discuss the paper, you just comment on the paper. I mean, what it comes down to is we love what we do. We wouldn't want to do anything else. They represent what? The, uh, the entrepreneurial spirit that actually creates a sustainable organization. Flare Code plans to launch in the fall as a multi-platform solution with mobile apps for the iPhone and Android phones, as well as a mobile web browser.